Hi guys, welcome back to Tev Rebel Gaming. I am Ed. Today is episode two of season nine of FCOS in Football Manager 2018. Trying a bit of a different setup with the mic. Need to get closer and further away from my really loud laptop. Uh, in addition, Japan have just scored their second goal against Belgium. Um, I was going to say spoiler alert. It's not a spoiler for you. It happened a few weeks ago. I hope they're going to win, but I guess we'll see. For us today, though, we are playing Napoli in the Champions League. Booyah! Hello, 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 welcome back. So, Champions League, we last met for a 6-0 drubbing of Dynamo. Getting to this really quickly today. Uh, we then lost 3-2 to Utrecht. Uh, we went 2-0 down, brought it back to 2 all. It's been like a week since I recorded this, I'm having to have a look. Uh, and then they scored in the last few minutes when we were chasing the winner because that's what happens to me. We then just about got past FC Lienden in the KMVB Becker first round, so they are just an absolute nobody team. Uh, they're in the third division in the Netherlands. We rotated a little bit, but like the team's still really strong. So Bergman, our new backup keeper, Erba, the right back on loan, a couple of young Dutch centre-backs, our potentially first choice left back. I mean, I don't remember who Boss is. Oh yeah, he's the winger, isn't he? <laughs> Ridiculous, don't even remember who he is. And then we've got Bahian, Burnett, uh, Thomas Patrick, Prazak, Zuniga. Just, I, I don't know what happened, but we got past them just about, so that's nice. And then we followed that all up with a 3-1 win over Az. Yeah, I remember they scored in the last few minutes to make it look more even than it was. We absolutely dominated them, got our goals in the first half, and just that was kind of it really. Nothing happened in the second half. They got a goal just on the fly. Marta, Prazak, Rahakal scoring. Marta scored a penalty, which is nice. I was editing a video from the previous season today uh, season eight is it uh, where Gretison and Marta both missed penalties against Malmo in the Europa League my word that was horrific wasn't it geez I, I swore a lot during that episode I think uh, had to do a lot of cutting but yeah finally scored penalties so that's good and today is Napoli in the Champions League Group A. Um, I'd like to do Dortmund as well, but it's a bit far. What I'll probably do is come back for the second game against Dortmund, um, just so I can actually get in and play, because I haven't played for ages, because I've been editing and things have been going on at home over the last week or so. So yeah, not a lot of recording of this. So I just need to sit and actually play a bit. Uh, I'm getting loads of editing done, but playing not so much, so I'm going to sort that out. In terms of future transfers, I don't, I mean, anything behind the scenes, nothing's really happened. I don't know if I've shown you this guy, Antonio Vincek. So when we drew Dino, I decided to go and scout all their guys. So they've got an 18-year-old Croatian. He's going to be 19. I don't know why I'm paying two million for him. I think he'll probably be a loan, a loan out sort of fella. But he's not too bad. He's really similar to, well, I guess, Rahak on the right wing. He's basically just the left winging, left winger version of Rahak. Really pacey, driven personality, which is nice. Work rate's okay, could do with some improving. Crossing, dribbling, first touch, all okay. Again, could all be improved, but goes up by two, three attribute points everywhere, which he could do at 19 years old with a driven personality. I think he'll be good. Yeah, I think he could be, could be pretty handy. Definitely a good backup on the left-hand side because I don't think we're gonna keep that boss at this rate. He's been terrible. So we need a backup in case Sonna disappears. And all that leads us into the team for today. Crucial Champions League game. Obviously want to win, but I'll take a draw at this point. Um, before the game's even got near starting. We are playing Julio Cesar in goal. Matusek, De Koning, Bogosian and Krizek at the back. Prezak of the Hayen in the middle. Rahak and Sonner on the wings. Marta and Gretzen up front. Really familiar lineup now, isn't it? And I've just been looking at teams that want some of my players. Koning is coming on really nicely. Uh, and thinking, do I need to... Can you go back? Do I need to start getting guys on contracts. Matusek is wanted by Chelsea, Juventus and Atletico. I just tried to offer him a deal and it went a bit wrong and he's got a 7.75 million release clause for foreign clubs in his contract. So I need to try again shortly. I could just reload. Yeah, it's my fault if that all goes wrong. So yeah, good on me. De Koning wanted by Bruges, Ajax and Udinese. That's no, nothing really new. Verheyen, Marseille and Ajax. Marseille a bit higher up. And Gretzen, Fulham, West Ham, Cologne and Celtic. I guess when I look at Gretzen compared to when we first got him, he's got he's come on a little bit. There's a couple of things that have stayed pretty consistent. But um, he's definitely improved in the physical area and a couple of attribute points around a lot of the striking elements here in the technicals he does look like someone who would succeed in england though if you look at him the finishing is good the heading is good first touch is good dribbling passing technique work rate and he's got really decent physicals for a pretty big lad he's under 187 centimeters 
so about what like six foot two so yeah he's, he's real good um I don't know why it's taking him so long to start performing, really. Now on the bench today, we've got a backup keeper. Anyone else of note? Burnett, I tried to offer a new deal because he's wanted by Bournemouth, and that didn't go anywhere. Zuniga still needs to get some starts, but it's really hard to rotate him in properly. Well, he's got two in one Champions League game from, from the beginning, so we'll see. Anyway, let's get into the game. So we get into the game. A few minutes has passed. My daughter is being an absolute nightmare tonight, bless her. So Napoli still have Alvaro Morata, I think I pointed out previously, 32 years old now. Been batting him in for Napoli for most of his third season there. Um, did okay at Chelsea. Doesn't look like he really got a proper run. I mean, one appearance that season, one start in the league, loads of sub appearances. Very sort of on-off, but um, yeah, always or still a good player. Luan, I've heard of, which is probably as much as I can say for him. Uh, still 2-0 Japan, so that's nice. A uh, couple of regens. So this guy looks okay, but he doesn't look... I mean, this is the problem with attribute masking on. There's a lot of those which are sort of 8 or 9 to 14, 15, 16, 17. So he looks really basic, but he's valued at 6 million, so he can't be that bad. But he doesn't look that, like, superb. And then you've got Miguel, another regen no cap to Portugal but valued at almost 16 million he's 25 years old yeah he's decent but again is he that much better than what we have in addition they have Wesley Hote uh ex Southampton did he play yeah he played for Southampton for a couple seasons um on the game and in real life he's completed one season there and they've got this guy in goal who is a familiar name and Belgium just scored I missed it completely uh Mattia Perrin did he start at is it Je yeah Genoir Genoa, I call them Genoa, yeah. He's pretty good on FIFA, I know that much. They're playing a 4-2-3-1 narrow with two defensive mids, three attacking mids in the centre. So I just say pick up where you left off and I'll try and look at the goal while I edit stuff. Well, not, I'll edit it, you won't see me editing it, obviously. Right, 20 minutes in, we do have a free kick on the right. Sonnet on the edge of the box now. I've got all the spotlights heading this way again, so it's really hard to see what's going on, but I'll try my best. Prazak, Sonnet, Pl oh no, oh, he's gone for goal. I wanted him to cut it back, and he hasn't. He's gone for the far corner, and he's found the far corner, and my laptop's still really loud. I hate it. Oh, it's so inconsistent. I probably just need a laptop calling tray or something. But yeah, Sonnet grabs it, so he starts to move back here, gets tackled. Krizek does pick it up to Prazak, Sonna continues his run and there you hope he finds one of these four guys who's coming at the back post but he goes to goal and we're 1-0 up and we are back immediately so that's good, uh, we're starting with a goal kick Matthew Sek from the right back position to Rahak, doesn't want to do his man but puts a good ball down on for Marta to chase Marta crosses it in Gretzen doesn't quite get there we've got him under pressure, we're using the wings really well which is nice to see Prazak now to Sonna just on the edge of the box we've occupied the left hand side now are we going to switch it or keep please keep hold of the ball my word Krizek oh it's a terrible attempt at a ball it's intercepted and Napoli are oh, coming at us Morata has a run at goal and he puts it wide that is a slice of fortune there for us throw in on the left Krizek gives it to Prazak part of the Czech connection Czech, 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 I don't know something like that but Verheyen gives it to their defender Luan clears it and Morata comes through and Morata puts it wide again so we get to half time 1-0 up I thought we were looking really good really early in the game which we were we scored which is great but considering it looks like all the highlights are coming to us they're really not coming to us um, despite being 1-0 up we've had two shots there 11 they've only had three on target though Oh, we've had more possession, but clearly not doing a lot with it, but do you need to if you're winning? They've had two really good attempts on goal, though, so uh, it's it's hard to say exactly what they're doing. They've had a load of long shots. If you take long shots out of the equation, it's 4-1. to one. So we've had one shot inside the box, basically, and that shot has resulted in a goal. So Krizek thrown on the left-hand side. Lots of always thrones. I guess there's a lot of thrones in real-life football as well, isn't there? Real life football, how ridiculous. Prazak gives it to Verheyen in the middle. He's got an option out on the win, which is Matu Sek. Uh, finds Rahak on the overlap. Rahak gives it to Marta at the near post. And it looked like he's going for the head and then went for a volley. It was very strange. And Romelu Lukaku has come on for Napoli. I uh, don't know how old he is now, but um, he's, just, he's just won a penalty, isn't he? I didn't see what the problem was there. 
Oh, Belgium have scored. It's not Lukaku, is it? And it's Lukaku everywhere. I saved. The penalty saved. And... Oh, it's Fellaini score for Belgium in real life. Oh, right, 64 minutes gone. We're just going to make a couple of changes here. Rahax on the yellow, so I'm going to bring on Roivers. Uh, in addition, Zuniga can come for Gretzen, who's been entirely ineffective. And finally, Prazak. Uh, yeah, Prazak can come off a of burn net. So we're just going to do that, and we're probably not going to go for the much higher line because we're now starting to get caught out a bit. So let's just drop all that down, retain possession, stand on control and see what we can do. Right, 17 minutes to go. We do have the ball at the right. Sorry, there's all sorts going on. Japan cross it. Oh, not quite. Um, yeah, we've got a real good let off with that with that penalty miss. Morata missed a couple of chances. Uh, Morata, sorry, is still on the pitch as well, which is interesting. I wish he wasn't. So Morata gets on the ball here, lays it out wide, and then gets the return and it's a perfectly guided header unfortunately i'd like to say it was my tactical things i'll just put them back but they've been knocking on the door a very long time so i can't say i'm that shocked uh if we can sort of hold out now that'd be perfect and regardless of what happens here i'm going counter just see if we can get a bit more defensively solid uh Sonner on the left wing finds zuniga who runs at the defence, draws in four players, but unfortunately can't then actually play the ball for some obscure reason, just decides to stop. Nukaku's through on goal. He scored, didn't he? We've been caught out by that ball a few times today, and even, I don't think, uh, we changed the tactics. We were pushing higher up. And we got caught out by it twice, and now we've been caught out again, and unfortunately I just finished it off this time. But we have dropped the line to a normal line, and we're on counter, so I guess if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Napoli are a much better team. I was excited because we were 1-0 up. I thought, you never know, we might just be able to, to win this, especially when they missed a penalty. But here they come again, edge of the box now, and put it just wide. Do you now go for it a bit? Possibly, I'm going to put it on attacking. I mean, if we lose, we lose, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's not good. Nothing's happening. I could have changed more, but realistically, was I expecting us to get anything from it? Even if we changed it, probably not. Sonic absolutely smashes it into Bayern. <laughs> I love it. And probably another Napoli goal here, but you never know. It's probably just an, an end of game highlight that's been extended for some really strange reason. Disappointed, really disappointed. I thought we might might get something from this. It's not the worst result ever, but I don't know how good Dortmund are, really. Because if Dortmund aren't the same Dortmund, I mean, it looks like they've had a pretty rough time of it in general on the game. Um, so if they are that sort of Dortmund, then we have a good chance. If they're not really and they've just been pretending, then less so but you'll see they won their 2-0 so if we go to the group and see how we're getting on so we are in third place as things stand napoli and dortmund both on four points we're on three um i think everyone playing dynamo is going to get maximum points so yeah we really do have to do something against dortmund or napoli the next time around everything is depending on it i mean it says sonna was on form but was he actually on form we did one thing that whole game we made one chance and we scored it so I wouldn't say he was on form, but that's just me. I'm clearly a horrible man. So next up for me is Sparta. You'll next see me for this Dortmund game, but let's see how actually getting on in the league quickly. So that loss killed us a little bit because Vitesse have drawn one game and won the rest. But we're currently sitting on 18 points, six wins, one loss. Vitesse are two points behind, but with a game in hand. Ajax are a game in hand, but three points behind. And we'll have a better goal difference if they win their game. But that's fine, that's to be expected. To be honest, I'd say we've actually been performing really well. That Utrecht game was an aberration. We were unlucky to, we were unlucky not to win it, really. So actually, I'm not too concerned about the league this year. I think that'll sort itself out. We've got a really strong team across the board. Uh, we've got a number of really good replacements to bring in. Not as many as I'd like. I'm still after like, not that I'll get it now, but they're really top quality centre-back. Bolkosian is great. He's got some really nice attributes and he's still got a lot of growth to come as well. But, um, oh, you've got a minimum fee release clause for foreign clubs as well that I need changing. I mean, that's not unreasonable, 9.25. I don't like the yearly wage rise. I can't even get rid of it anyway. But yeah, I wanted a better centre-back to come in there. 
Uh, I think the left wing needs improving. Um, I'm sort of anticipating we'll sell on Sonner because he will be worth a lot of money. We use the other guys as a backup next season. We probably need a new version of Vahe, and as great as he is on paper, well, I guess his stats are really superb. You can't really go wrong with it, but I'd like a, a better version of him if we can. But yeah, the bench is pretty strong. So I'm happy. I'm happy with how things are going. I think we can do okay in the Champions League. We look more competitive this time around anyway, so that's good. So it's just a matter of can we beat Dortmund in this away game or what can we do in the home game? Um, because it will come down to that because Dynamo is clearly just a walkover, he says, in advance. So yeah, it's just making sure we do well in the league, beating Dynamo, and hoping for the best for the rest. That rhymed. But if you enjoyed that, please do like, comment, subscribe. This series, I say it pretty much every episode now, is slowly coming to an end. It's going to be really sad, but I'm excited to uh, see what the future holds for FCOS post me. But before that, I really want to win something European. That'd be really nice, wouldn't it? But thank you very much for watching.